Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox my iPhone 11 for you guys. I'm also going to tell you the most embarrassing story of my whole freaking life. Like seriously, like a horror story. Just in time for Halloween, so I'm ugh, I'm actually still recovering from it. Seriously, the most embarrassing freaking day of my life. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll unbox this for you guys. So as you can see, I got the white. The iPhone 11 only has two cameras, but they come in a bunch of cute colors like teal, red, yellow, I think like a slate color. I went ahead and got white. They didn't have any, like really a lot of colors available. I was like, you know what? I can get like a lot of cute cases. The cases shine through the white like really cutely. I had the iPhone 7 before. It was a nice upgrade from that. The screen is definitely so much bigger. Yeah, I really love it. Like I've been using it since yesterday and I've been using it all day today. I'm in love. <laughs> the next thing I got in here was, you usually get this stuff, but they got the stickers and I thought it was really lame. If you get another color, you don't even get like teal or red stickers. Like you just get the standard white, which I don't know. I felt like they could have given people who got a different color, like different color Apple stickers. I thought that would have been cute. Anyways, and you got the 5 watt charger. The iPhone 11 Pro and the Max come with an 18 watt charger. But you can also get like a charging station for your phone if you want to. And at first I thought we got the earbuds and I was like so excited and then I saw the cords and I was like, oh, we got these. And of course the, the charger thing. That's about it. I'm very pleased with my iPhone 11. Okay, you guys, so on to my most embarrassing story of my whole freaking life. Like, this was just crazy. If you're a guy and you're squeamish, please tune me out right now. You're not gonna really like this story. So I'm standing there, they're getting my phone all set up. There's this new guy, he said he's only been doing this for two weeks. He's working on my phone, and uh, I'm just standing there, I'm all excited because I wanna get a new phone, new upgrade, blah, blah, blah. It's probably about seven o'clock and they close at eight. And there's like a bunch of people to the right of me, but I'm not thinking anything. And like some of them are sitting down, some are like standing up, looking at phones. I'm just standing there. My period wasn't supposed to start till like a week. I wasn't even prepared to have like anything happen. Like it wasn't, it wasn't even on my mind. So I'm standing there and I felt like something gush in my underwear, but I was like, okay, like maybe my kitty cat is a little like juicy. You girls know what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes I'll just get like a gush of female fluids. Anyway, so I'm not thinking anything, so I'm just standing there and letting it out, just waiting for my phone. It was kind of taking a while because he was new. It kept saying verification failed with my Apple ID and they didn't know why. I noticed this guy to the right of me, he kept staring at me and like kind of like looking down. I wasn't really thinking anything of it. And my fiance is like standing over here. I have my little nine month old with me and he's in a stroller. I continue to stand there and all of a sudden I felt something running down my leg. I look down and there's blood all over my leg three streaks of blood running down. I'm wearing a dress, okay? A knee length dress. And I look down and it's teal. It's not black or anything, it's teal. And I'm like, oh my God, my period just started and I'm in T-Mobile. Like, they're not almost done. And I was panicking, what am I gonna do? I grabbed my son's, and God, he had this receiving blanket and I'm like wiping it off. And you know when blood dries, there's still a line. Like there was still lines on my leg. And I'm just like, when he wasn't looking, like, I'm like licking the blanket, like rubbing my leg. And then I remember that Sebastian had some boogie wipes. So I'm like casually getting those and I'm like wiping. And I'm just like, oh my God, hopefully like this is like a light flow. Cause usually when you start your period, if you're a guy watching this, it's light and then it gets heavy. Yeah, so that's what I was hoping. Anyway, so I'm standing there and I'm just clenching my hole as tight as I can. I'm probably white right now. I know my whole demeanor changed because this is like <laughs> in my head, like catastrophe. This could get really ugly, you know? And I started texting my fiance with his phone. And I'm like, oh my God, like my period just started. Well, he already saw that I was wiping my leg and he was just looking at me and he's like, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. So I'm texting him like, oh my God, we need to get out of here really fast my period started like I don't know what's gonna happen he's like 
yeah, everything's fine. Like, you're okay. Like, nobody saw. But I swear that guy who was staring at me was looking at my legs because he saw it coming down my legs. If you see a video that says, girl at T-Mobile, like, bleeding, running your period, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I would love to get a hold of their cameras and seeing myself panicking and doing all this. Continuing on with my story, I'm standing there, he's still trying to mess with my phone. All of a sudden, I feel, this is probably about 5-10 minutes later, I feel like this gush. And I'm like, oh my god. I look down, and if you've ever seen the Freddy Krueger movie and the girl in the bathtub and you see the claw, like that's what it looked like just happened to me. And I'm like, and I look over to the right of me and thank god there's other people. Some of them were gone. They're looking at phones, and I'm just like, oh my god! I grab that baby blanket again, and I'm like wiping and wiping and wiping, and it's like smeared all over my leg. It's like all over the baby blanket. I'm grabbing boogie wipes, and I'm like, it's all over my hands, and like wiping that off. And he's like, ma'am, can you go ahead and enter in your passcode again? I'm acting like I'm busy, like doing like baby stuff. So I'm like throwing the blanket in there underneath the stroller. I'm throwing the boogie wipes. If there's no more boogie wipes, I just threw it. There's like blood all over my hand. I saw that it was on my thumb, so I'm like tucking my thumb and like just entering in my password. And I'm like, please, like this is a dude. Please don't say that there's like blood all over my hand. Like he's gonna wonder like what the hell happened to you, you know? So I enter in my password. And then the two girls come up who've been working there for a while and they're like, helping him. And I'm thinking, okay, cool. Like he's gonna end up like leaving, going somewhere else. And I'm just gonna talk to one of the girls like, Oh my god, girl, like, you gotta help me. My period just started. You know, like, that would have been so much better. It was on the floor, you guys. I looked down, and there was, like, it was on the floor. So I'm standing there near it, just knowing I have to wipe this up. Yeah, he's still there. I happen to look down, and their countertops are white. And there's blood on the countertop. And I'm just like, oh my god. Why me? Like, this is horrible. Like, blood is everywhere. Like, seriously, like a massacre. And, like, they're just doing their own thing, trying to figure out my phone. Thank God. Their attention really wasn't on me. So I grabbed that boogie wipe and, like, casually wiped it off the counter. Seriously, this was horrible. Like, they were doing their own thing, so I grabbed that receiving blanket again and, like, wiping the floor. Just get the boogie wipe, wiping the floor. Like, oh, my God. Like, it was so embarrassing. It was all over my dress. And this girl, she came up next to me and she said, Oh, can I, because they're about to close. She's like, oh, can I grab the trash real quick? Of course, the cabinet for the trash is, like, right in front of me. So I'm, like, squeezing down there, like, backing up. She grabbed the trash, and I'm like, she's going to see the blood on my dress. But I kind of, like, turned, and she didn't. Thank God. So they couldn't get my phone to verify. I'm just standing there, like, please. Like, I'm like, okay. And my fiancé was trying to help me, so he's like, yeah, we gotta get the baby home. Like, this is taking a while, and like, you guys are closing soon. So he's like, you know what? Like, why don't you go home, connect to the Wi-Fi there, and see what happens. Oh my God, thank God. Like, I need to get out of here. I told my fiance when they weren't really listening, walk behind me because I didn't know like, what was behind me. I just knew I had dry blood on lower parts, like on my calves, on both sides. It was horrible. He had to like walk behind me, but we ended up leaving, and I exited out of there. So. That is the most embarrassing story of my life, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and you girls understand that we always hope something like this doesn't happen to us, but yeah, it happened to me in T-Mobile and yeah, most embarrassing story of my entire life. So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing and my horror story and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.